It's advantage Sunderland to start, on score at least. In the semi-finals of this competition, eight of the last nine teams to win the first leg at home 2-1 have failed to reach the final. Well, the Manchester United team out to turn it around tonight is changed by five from Sunday at Chelsea, a fourth defeat in five games. In comes Smalling, Butner, Fletcher, who's captain for the night, Kagawa and Sunday's goalscorer Javier Hernandez. Nemanja Vidic's weekend red card sees him suspended, Rooney and Van Persie still not ready to return. Sunderland staged their own comeback to draw with Southampton at the weekend and have only lost one of their last ten games. Two changes for the visitors, Jack Colback replaces Seb Larson and Stephen Fletcher comes in for Josie Altidore with Gus Poyet's team backed by 9,000 loud travelling supporters, all dreaming of Wembley. Away we go. Manchester United get the action underway on a night that just feels huge at Old Trafford. Smalling sets off on his merry way downfield. Perhaps that's a first early statement of intent from Manchester United. This competition will have been Firmly fourth in their list of priorities at the start of the season. Tonight, at least, it is right at the very top. This has become a much greater competition for the club to be involved in. There are all sorts of reasons for the manager, for the supporters, for any chance of any sort of silverware this season. From Sunderland's point of view, the run in this competition has helped to improve their league for Gus Poyet, of, play, of course, has played a huge part in that as well. Sunderland looking for their first major cup final since 1992. 
And Manchester United with a chance to create history by giving us the first Manchester derby in a major cup final. Raphael. Fletcher finds Johnny Evans. Buckner was getting forward down the left, but he was ignored, and the ball has gone the other way. Uh, Hernandez has missed control. And Manoni gets the ball away to Sunderland's safety. And as I, this is out to Marcos Alonso. It's Barini, the first leg match winner from the penalty spot. Penalty awarded for a cleverly foul on Adam Johnson, a decision that was strongly disputed by David Moyes afterwards. Putner, Arsenal having to back away, now he's in, and wins the ball. And Bartley, John O'Shea and Wes Brown, and Manchester United connections in the Sunderland side. All former Reds, and his key, making good progress, so is Marcus Alonso here. Arms raised in the middle, wanting service, it's turned away by Smalling. Kagawa. Adam Johnson is on him, Sunderland's man of the moment. Five goals in his last four games. In specific, five goals in the last three games that he started. Yanazai tangling with Marcus Alonso. No free kick, nothing asked for by the United man. And Catamol turns it back to Manoni. Hesitation from the Sunderland goalkeeper and he was allowing Javier Hernandez the chance to put him under pressure. Pressure, really, of the keeper's own making. Welbeck. Fletcher. Here's Yanazai. Stopped by Marcus Alonso. Carrick with the floaty one. Phil Barzi who knocks it back for a Manchester United corner. Darren Fletcher was getting forward. Big night for Darren Fletcher. Big night for everybody with it being a semi-final second leg, but captaining the team after all that time out through illness. Must have been many days where he thought he wouldn't play for the team again, let alone lead it. Evans went for it. Here's Carrick. Evans, Carrick, Welbeck, can't turn and face goal, he's given the ball away to Colbeck. Marcus Alonso to Key. Barini, he's gone in and caught Raphael a little late. Manchester United take the free kick quickly. Fletcher. Welbeck to Gamaza. Has beaten Marcus Alonso and Barini has slid in. Well, we'll say too eagerly. I think that's how Lee Mason has interpreted it as well. Could easily have got the yellow card out for that. The adrenaline flowing a bit too strongly. Dear me, it's at least a yellow card. No booking at all for the Italian. to Yanazai, no real complaint from him. He takes the free kick, Manoni struggling a bit here, but he has kept it out. Javier Hernandez, nervous start from Sunderland at the back, Bardley hasn't got it properly away. Bounces off Brown and out for the United throw. United at it and on top of Sunderland right from the off. Butner Manoni takes it, takes it pretty comfortably. 
It's a good ball in, really good leap from Javier Hernandez. Manoni, well, he might have been struggling with the cross, but he got himself in the right place to beat that away. There's Marcus Alonso. Having his head after that brush with Rafael. Here's Barini. Well, he's dealt with it. It should be Wes Brands. Back on familiar turf, of course. 361 Manchester United games. Trumped by the man next to him, John O'Shea. And it's 392. There is Brown. Returned by Key, who's been really influential in Sunderland's recovery. As it looked like they were goners from the Premier League for sure at the end of this season. Now, they've got a really good chance of staying up. One way to go. It doesn't matter, it's on the back burner. To ball to O'Shea. Key. O'Shea wants it repeatedly returned to him. He cut him off. Brown. Something getting settled. Barini to Marcus Alonso. Hold back there with him outside. He wants it inside. Three in the box. Catamon. The combination between Colback and Marcus Alonso. Raphael's been given the slip. Here's Key. Gonna have a try. Didn't really get a hold of it, and strangely got a hold of it a little too well for Adam Johnson to make any sort of connection in the middle. A little bit between everything that was good. This point's enjoying the distractions from the Premier League survival battle. Oh, he'd love to be leading a team out at Wembley. The start of March. <laughs> he takes some instructions from Lee Catamol. it towards the man in yellow in the middle and it was John O'Shea who came to meet it strongly but not accurately <laughs> 13 years a Manchester United man from the age of 17 Sunderland man, as was Johnny Evans. Both had successful loan spells on Wearside. Fletcher. He was waiting for it. Carrick was on the ball. Out comes Minoni. Starting his 17th game in a row with here and Westwood out for the long term with a shoulder injury. Does have new competition now with. Argentinian substitute keeper on the bench today, Oscar Ustari, signed until the end of the season, having been released by Almeria of Spain. Yanazov, Atamol, resisted the urge to dive in to get the ball. And he's ratting away at Fletcher. Here's Evans. Kagawa. Trying to find it with the return. Moshea, I don't think meant to touch it like that, but Manoni was ready. Fletcher. Away from his namesake, Stephen Fletcher. Scotland internationals both. Well 
half back. Carrick. Darren Fletcher. Smalling chased by Colback. Raphael. Kagawa. He's left it behind. From Butler. There's a dart here from Javier Hernandez. Well timed, he was on side, but he can't find Butner. Michael Carrick, drawing it out, it'll be a single throw. Look at the movement there from Javier Hernandez. Brilliant run. Barsley was claiming handball as he tried to control it. to brush the side. No harm done to Sunderland anyway. Butner <laughs> getting himself a little bit too tight to Adam Johnson. He won't want to stray too far away from Sunderland's man in form. Marcus Alonso. player who is chock full of it right now. Taking on two here. It's Kagawa hacking away. Finally out for a Manchester United throw in. Good hacking. Sunderland have paid for 130 coach loads. And they're short, the owner, dipping into the club's coppers to Come up with that gesture. The club being rewarded by superb backing. Carrick. Hernandez. Marcus Alonso gets something on it. United throw. Catamol, Javier Hernandez, that looked like handball. Runs it to West Brown, and it is going to be a free kick for Sunderland. Lee Mason did spot it. Did seem a reasonably clear one. Record extends to 27 games without success here as long as they get the draw. That's Brown. Alonso, Butner, 
He's panicked a little there. Saying he needed more information about who was where and how much time he had. Only Johnson likely to get near it in the Sunderland shirt, and he was way out on the wing. Johnson on the move now for Bartley. Too much of Phil Barsley, but it will be a throw in to United. Keeps them firmly pegged back in their own corner here. Unfortunately, not enough on that to refine Butler. Call back too much on it. That's a United throw. focused on the task in hand to David Moyes fully focused on the task in hand tonight there is transfer business going on around Old Trafford and he might well have Juan Mata in his squad the next Tuesday's Premier League game against Cardiff Barsley from this parish, Salford. Now Barini is going to have a go at goal. Really good go. The eyes tell you how close it was. De Gea's too. Good running from Barini in front of Raphael, and he stayed there. And Raphael couldn't do anything to prevent the shot on goal. Speared over De Gea's crossbar, not by a great margin at all. <laughs> Developed a habit, Barini, of scoring very important goals, often late in the game. Carrick. And Fletcher, controlled by Danny Welbeck. Back able to turn, and this isn't able to. Prevented by O'Shea, but it's one back for United by Carrick. Now it's Butner letting fly, and the ball does fly. Flies wide. tonight, Jude here sending off at Stamford Bridge, enjoying the snacks, hopefully not a prawn sandwich, one other player who's captained this team would have frowned upon that. Goalkeeper just had to watch his step and the roll of the ball a little more carefully. Barini. There's Marcus Alonso. Looking for Adam Johnson. Danny Evans was with him. Barini holds back there. Rafael. Yanazai drew Marcus Alonso in. Suckered him into the foul. 
United free kick. from him by the ever eager Lee Catamol. Doesn't want to drive down the middle himself, he wants some help. Brown sold Cole back short. Hernandez catches him though. Sounds a free kick. Brown. And that's uh, in between Barini and Marcus Alonso. It's a Manchester United goal kick. We can maybe forgive Lee Catamol for Lacking a bit of confidence about going for goal himself. This is 105th game for Sunderland. No goals. Last time he scored, December 2008, for Wigan against Blackburn. United team that has got to stay patient. The longer the seconds tick on, even at this stage of the first half, without the overall scoreline being levelled, then the more the frustration will grow amongst the home support. The more the away support will start to believe. Jeering down in that corner. He's, of course, a former Manchester City player. That comes from Johnson. Ahead of Fletcher. It's called back. Trying to fend off Kagawa. Not the call from Kakanol. Jack, pass, pass. He got the pass. Keep. All the way back to Manoni. Moshe. Just caught that on the outside of the boot. Turned an attacking position into a nervous one defensively there, Sunderland, quite quickly. Credit to Manchester United for the pressing, the way they forced them back. done this but Manchester United fans now are making a lot of noise themselves in response well back he's putting it 
Fullbacks getting to grips with him. Can't stop the Dutchman though. Fletcher. Hagawa. Good bit of defending from Barsley. Manchester United fans sense that their team are just going to have a rising spell. Fletcher to Welbeck. Hagawa too close to him. I don't think Welbeck wanted him to take it away like that. The, uh, Manchester United throw. Stephen Fletcher only just back from an Achilles problem. So back, he hasn't actually missed games, but he's been struggling a lot. He's only a substitute at the weekend. final of this competition four years ago when Manchester United overturned being 2-1 down from the first leg to beat Manchester City Raphael and his uh, ankle tap by Jack Colback Carrick's already taken the free kick Kagawa Yanazai too tight for the touch, just too tight to the touchline for that to work. Barini waiting for it. Yanazai got in front of him. Now it's going to be a Manchester United free kick. Yanazai will take it. It's a sign of how important the. 18-year-old has become very quickly to Manchester United. In charge of all the set pieces. One of the main men, even though barely out of boyhood. And he'll continue to be, even after the imminent arrival of Juan Mata. Hagelwood to Yanazai. O'Shea, just the faintest of touches on it. Evans, Hagelwood. Butner, Carrick wants it out of the box, Butner's gone into the middle instead. All the way to Manoni. He's taking plenty of time over all his decision-making. Marcus Alonso. And he plays it against Yanazai to win a Sunderland throw-in. Two voices you heard there, I'm sure you got the second one as Gus Poyet. The first is coach Charlie Oakway. Rafael down the right, doesn't want to go that way. Gave it away to Catamol. One back. Yanazai. Hagawa finds Welbeck. Four red shirts in the box, and Welbeck has blazed it. Manchester United have won the League Cup four times. Surprisingly, all under his management. Somebody who's retired doesn't miss many games, does he?
Butner. Marcus on his deep here. Marcus Alonso heads it away from him. Sunderland here. Now Stephen Fletcher takes over with the hurrying up work. Evans. Putting on all the way back to Manoni. Doesn't make it look awkward one bit. Bounced off Fletcher. Fletcher S, that is. Fletcher D gets it for Manchester United. Butner hops up after the challenge of Bardsley. United free kick anyway. Subs bench. Not to the knee at Chelsea at the weekend. Johnson. Pass this ball in, but only in for the gloves of the head. He was trying to go long. Which in fact, it is a good ball. Didn't seem it at first. Marcus Alonso able to get back and take it away from Hernandez, though. Now Adam Johnson, a bit of room for it. Hasn't enjoyed that much tonight. Able to get ahead of steam up to take on Butner and Welbeck. And it's down to skill again. Welbeck is dumped into the floor late after the ball had been passed back to Colback. Chance for Sunderland to get this into the box. Welbeck's protesting his innocence and having words with his sometime England squad colleague. City rejects stuff from United's fans. The way he's playing at the moment, they'd have him back. Well, then again, the way they're playing. Bardsley, the ball come forward, and Marcus Alonso, well back who was next to defender for Manchester United, Johnson again, hassled out of it by Kagawa and Butner. Kagawa, easy enough for Corbett, Corbett and Catamol were the two who stayed in the centre circle, didn't play any part in attacking the free kick. Obstruction from the Sunderland man. Barini. Marcus Alonso. Raphael. Running with it, Yanazar. Run away from Marcus Alonso. It's a good ball in for Kagawa. Yanazar behind. Kagawa's chip off the post. Robert follows up and Manoni keeps it out somehow. And it's Butner and Kagawa, and it's poked behind. Sunderland Clement is behind already. The final touch was the boot of Catamol. United corner. They've taken it quickly, but they'll have to take it again. Lee Mason's attention has been drawn to Alex Butner, who went down with an injury. He's done his team a disservice there. 
Sunderland almost caught Sunderland napping. In from Yanazai. Well back. 1 0. Flag has stayed down. It's Johnny Evans who's headed in. The tie swings around. And over the whole piece, Manchester United have the advantage now. Onside, all right. Barini didn't get out. Just stays loitering a yard or two from his goal line. Look at Evans stealing in. And the firm header is planted in against the team he wants start for on loan. And he's never getting to that. Manchester United 1, Sunderland 0. And aggregate, it's 2 2. That means that Sunderland definitely have to score a goal now. Away goals come into play only after extra time. And of course, Manchester United have won from their trip to the Stadium of Life. Doesn't change things for Gus Poyet. He'd always said he thought his team would need to get a goal. Hernandez. What it does change for Manchester United is put the wind behind them. Evans to Welbeck. Manchester United throwing. Paul Biles has just been spoken to by Lee Mason. Johnny Evans' second goal of the season. He's scored five goals in his last 41 games for Manchester United. Had to wait an awful long time for the first. find Key here, Carrick there to prevent a shot, he's trying to slide in Marcos Alonso, and it's good tracking from Yanazai. Just before Johnny Evans headed Manchester United in front, it was Darren Fletcher's header, and just before Johnny Evans headed Manchester United in front, it was Darren Fletcher who hit the woodwork, then Manoni made a good save, and what seemed like only moments later, Sunderland were behind anyway. Hagerwell, well found by Javier Hernandez. I know he wanted to get rid of that quickly, nothing really on for it. Sunderland the corner. At this point, his team have been scoring more goals of late. They need to score tonight now. That was almost likely to be the case. Johnson in. West Brown meets it. It's cleared away by Butner standing just in front of his own goal. Going in from Brown. It's powerful enough. Johnson has another go with a corner over Brown this time. Catamol to swing it back. Oh, that was the intention. And he's going on target from West Brown. Putin didn't know that.
The duel between Butler and Johnson is away from him and well back. He's pulled up holding his left thigh. And Stephen Fletcher looks to try to find Barini. Carrick there to stop that attack. And Barini on, in on him. The ball has gone out of play. It will be a Sunderland throw. He's just above the thigh. He's taking a whack on the cheek there, well back. Over Barini, Stephen Fletcher. Darren Fletcher's header, then one from Smalling that's rather more successful. And has to run it out. Sunderland showing signs of quickly wanting to come back at Manchester United. Closing stages of the first half. Keith. Until the goal, nothing much in the tie at all. Catamon. There's nothing much in the tie overall still on the overall aggregate scoreline. Brown. One by Yanazar. One back by Catamon. Marcus Alonso. Here's Barini, able to turn and get away from Raphael, or try to. Don't want to keep it. Barini's cross. Just too high for Stephen Fletcher. We look at Lee Mason and inquiring about the possibility of being pushed. Interested. Nobody else can try. Which is Heather. Manchester United's throw in. The tent, I'm sure, to just relax it a bit until the break. Just been joined by Robin Van Persie for the evening. Van Persie, who hasn't played since the 10th of December, and he injured his thigh whilst taking a corner against Shakhtar Donetsk. And now he's coming for this. The ball was coming to him. Poyet managed to rally his Sunderland side for a much improved second half showing against Southampton at the weekend. What words have you got for them at half time tonight? Here's Barini. The words will change if Sunderland managed to get themselves a goal. Colback. Atamol. Boucher. Header, Key, Fletcher, that will be De Hayes. Poignet after the Southampton game said it was looking really bad, we couldn't cope, it's incredible how much we changed in the second half. Some of them haven't looked really bad tonight. Manchester United perhaps just about value for shading it. Alonso, that's Catamol, Barini, good work at Fabio Barini, won a free kick here, into the 46th minute, the fourth official's board did say just one to be added on. Evans forced to touch it, Mr Hare has to kick it. Directed his header. Time for O'Shea and Barkley to sort it out then. The seconds remaining of the first half. King. There it is. Half time at Old Trafford. David Moyes is halfway there. Halfway to a morale boosting win. As it stands, a win that would see us go the full two hours tonight. And if there are no more goals scored, a win that would take Manchester United to Wembley. Sunderland, who have to turn it around now. Manchester United 1, Sunderland 0. 
All square on aggregate. The away goal's only coming into play after extra time. Key has put his arms around Javier Hernandez. As Manchester United threatened to make the perfect start to the second half. As it stands, there is plenty of mileage left in this Capital One Cup semi-final second leg. Plenty of distance to go. That could change if Manchester United really get an advantage so early on after the restart. Yanazai took a very measured walk back from the ball. One step back, two sideways. Michael Carrick is just going to be an observer here. It'll be Yanazai, who first really made his mark with two goals in a Premier League win at Sunderland in early October. Here he goes from 25 yards, and the ball clears the crossbar by one yard. No danger for Vito Minoni. Not in too much danger to come from the teenager in general tonight. On the right hand side. Rafael. Fernandez to the ball. side for it. Stephen Fletcher makes his way into the box. Really was stopped by Small. Aguilar. Javier Hernandez stretching his legs to get that. Welbeck pairing into the middle here. Won't reach the middle, but it will do in a moment or two. Corner conceded by Brown. Initially, and then it wasn't a bad effort at all. Doesn't score many when he does, they do tend to be pretty special efforts. Looks as though he's lost the chance there, but he just kept his eyes on the ball and waited to whack it. Loads of curl on that. Catamount. 
carry. Stephen Fletcher tries to flick it, Evans has hoisted it, behind for a corner. <laughs> and the best Sunderland balls into the box all night. Collision between Barini and Stephen Fletcher, resulting in Sunderland's number nine being hurt. Quickly back to his feet, waiting for a cross here from Johnson, or maybe from Key. It is a cross, it's a good one. Stephen Fletcher was coming in through the back of everybody. It's another corner. Johnson across to take it. Johnson's ball in. Next firmly by Smalling. Superb defensive clearance. Strong this from Sunderland. Barini. That's a free kick. Rafael was close. Barini felt him. Defended these stoutly so far, but only needs one bounce the wrong way from their point of view. <laughs> Keys ball. Smalley again, winning it determinedly. Barsley blocked by Butner. Here's Johnson through the crowd. Little deflection on that. No. Goal kick's been given. He can't believe it. It sounded as though there was a nick. It looks as though there is one. This can hopefully tell us for sure. Oh, yeah. It happened so quickly. Mason's got to make an instant call without it being slowed down and blown up for it. Side, Brown has seen him off anywhere. Signs already in the second half, but it's going to be a much more open 45 minutes that we're about to witness. Certainly, Sunderland will have to gamble a little bit more. It's called back. Darren Fletcher, Yanazan. Carry. Yanazan urged to have a shoot. Wasn't a bad one. There's the gap for him. The ball dipped, but it didn't curl. That's Catamol. I think Brown or O'Shea can do. Manoni was troubled for an instant. And I, at 18 years old, has his own song sung by the Stratford End. It's 
suppose for a second he would have expected that to happen this season when the campaign was beginning in August. There's Barini. Only a yellow shirt's getting forward here. Barini skips past Raphael. Only for goal himself might not have been the best bet. Smalling stopped the shot. Barini takes the throw. Tap back to him from Marcus Alonso. Goal kick. Some good threat over for now. Keep on running, Papio Barini. On loan from Liverpool, wasn't getting a game. Not from the start in the early part of the season, but he's a regular in Gus Poyet's plans now. Cool, the three of them. No shame. Putting the heads it out. No shame. Clearance though, Sunderland will stay on the front foot here. Colbert. Kick. Johnson. Good footwork. Just to go anywhere significant with it. Maybe Sunderland can via a different route. Colbert. Arthur went round the back, half took Welbeck with him. Welbeck will follow him again here. Catamol, having to work at Sunderland, but Manchester United are having to work hard defensively. Johnson, Johnson to have a run. Marcus Alonso. Catamol. Trying another way, Johnson with the chip. Chipped all the way through. Good possession, patient play. This point will have enjoyed that. The noise from the away fans suggest that they enjoyed it and are far from giving up yet. Far, far from it. Personalised snoods. Maybe they'll catch on with any other head coaches or management teams. Many would argue lucky to be involved at all tonight. The yellow carded for his 
late lunge at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. Fancy frills about this free kick. Just to lift forward, see what happens next. He with it. Up to cross towards Wes Brown. That's all he could do with it. Paul Bars is just having words with Brown and saying, why didn't you let it run? But I, like Brown, thought that it was going to be a goal kick anyway. United change, Shinji Kagawa is going off, and Antonio Valencia will take his place. That's a member of the Manchester United squad that won this competition in 2010 by beating Aston Villa in the final. His first season with the club. And the League Cup bring joy for David Boys first so far difficult season with the club. At the moment they are on their way to Wembley but only if you play half an hour more at the end of it all and only if it stays like it is. who gave the ball away in the first place. Oh, 
lucky not to go in the book early on for a pretty wild slide of a tackle. There was Bardsley's. That was just going to be a free kick. That's Perini's just plain old kick that brought the booking. Head and Yanazai is going to get a talking to here. Exuberance of youth being questioned by the referee. Oh, the noise is Sunderland noise and the tie is still so in the balance. but there'll be another extra 30 minutes at the end as it stands, extra time, and he won't want to go for broke just yet. Difficult game that the managers are having to play. Carrick. Manazai. Pin it properly. Groans around Old Trafford. for him when he comes back at the bank. That's here on, but only to Catamol. They got a bit lucky. Johnson, great ball that was from O'Shea, but Johnson couldn't keep it. Darren Fletcher. Close to him. And he will chase Johnson. King. Holbach's broken forward. He didn't see it. I think the pass was on. That won't reach Perini. Rafael make sure of that. Valencia. Left uh, Stephen Fletcher behind. Hernandez in the box with Welbeck. Yanazai arriving now. Tried to absolutely smack it. He's only just caught it with the top part of his boot. And it's very nearly a slice. Great chance this. Into your picture, Adnan Yanazai. The way that he's played all season, you would expect him to at least force a save from Manoni there. Johnson. 
O'Shea. Brown. Rick can only help that on backwards to Barini. Won the ball back really well, but made up for his mistake. from Raphael, how well timed is Manonis, perfect, had to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. 19 minutes of the 90 to go. As it stands, we're heading for 120. Deflected. Oh, no, he was helpless there. It's going to be a corner. Manoni's happy that it is because he was anxiously glancing as the ball sailed through, thinking that it might be into his top corner. Yes, I'm with it. So Shea and Smalling and Evans is there. Nazai in, well back, and Manoni's there to catch it, the flag is up anyway. Actually came off Fabio Barini, who didn't know where it was going. Marcus Alonso is forward from left back though. Keeps the attack going. Up against Valencia. Wants the ball to spin behind, it wouldn't. Hold back. Didn't risk the ball to Catamol. He was being closed off by Javier Hernandez. Michel. Too much goal mouth action, and it is a fascinating watch. It's a game of cat and mouse. And it can swing very quickly. Barton. Barini. Johnny Evans kills it. Make sure it doesn't go for a corner. Now it's Yanazai. Given away though to Catamol. Can he keep it? Yes, he can. Yanazai. Hernandez. Now here's Valencia. Some could have the advantage numerically on Welbeck and Hernandez. Here's Carrick. Now Manchester United numbers are forward. Now it's wasting it. Face of thunder. Faces of wonder and disbelief. Fletcher. Barini 
still buzzing around. Rafael is equal there. Marcos Alonso's touched down the line. It stayed on the line. Played in towards Johnson here. What a chance! Great block tackle. Butner has effectively just saved a goal. He slipped at first, but he got back to his feet in time to fling himself in the face of Johnson's shot. King. Little pet for Sunderland. Johnson with the cross. So Shea knocking it back wide. And Barini trying to work with it again. Rafael, two tackles. Didn't win the ball with either. Marcos Alonso. Looking for Key to attack this. Now it's Johnson. Johnson looks for Stephen Fletcher. Great header from Carrick. Barini. Jack Colback. Marcos Alonso. Valencia forces him back. Good work from Antonio Valencia. And he's made Marcus Alonso put that one out. A really bright Sunderland spell comes to an end. Spoyer wanting more of that. Wanting his players to push higher up the field. Could set us up for a really exciting finish. Manchester United to be pushed back. Sunderland to leave gaps on their own defensive lines. Yamazai to Carrick. Now it's Valencia. Carrick. Yamazai. Only waiting for it. Of a hurry to get the ball away. Stephen Fletcher. He really has put in a, a shift and a half here. He's running to Smalling there. Smalling has grabbed him. I do think that was six of one, half a dozen of the other. And that's how the referee's seen it as well. Hernandez. Yanazai. You can see how stretched it is now. Size cross and Tess went with his hand. And only used both of his. Johnson. He's got Fletcher charging for the ball. And, uh, Smalling beat him to it, and a collision was inevitable. Sunderland the feeling as you'd expect them to, but not sure it was with any great foundation. Marcus Alonso. King finds Johnson. Stephen Fletcher's let it run. Marcus Alonso! How close was that? David De Gea tries to remain cool, but it was at him in a flash. He started very quickly, Marcus Alonso, to take that first time. And it's curling as well, just not enough. Then he needs one of those to fly in, and Sunderland are back Wembley bound. Stephen Fletcher. Colbert. Bartley. Now Johnson. Immediately put no got close to it. Now he's having to back off. Shots on for Johnson. That's it better than that in the last few weeks. This point it's ready to make a change. Just have to watch this carefully though because Manchester United are ready to try and turn one into two. 
Rafael sold Valencia way short, but Darren Fletcher's won it back. And it's up. Run by Marcos Alonso. Here's Barton. Honestly waved on by Gus Poyet. Johnson outside. Okay. There's Marcus Alonso. Now it's Fabio Barini. Key. Call back. Johnson's wandered in here. He's supposed to wander out. O'Shea. Barton. to the feet of Marini, who's been forced ever wider by Johnny Evans. Substitute Craig Gardner has history at this stage of this competition. Three years ago, scored a late semi-final second leg winner for Birmingham City against West Ham. Got to upset Arsenal in the final. team at the moment. Johnson. Won't drop down for Barini. He's forced to take on the ambitious high attempt at scoring. Hurt in the process. Clever throw in taken quickly. Just United had switched off. Just that bounce there that got the better of Barini. Chelsea on Sunday is going to come on and try to finish the game. takes the field. Stephen Fletcher. Manona. Smalling finds Carey. Javier Hernandez has just jogged back on the side. Welbeck has to work at the Yanazai. Hernandez in the middle. Brown stops the Yanazai shot, that's what it was. Manchester United throw, 
Another Sunderland change before then, though. And Barini is going to go off. So he won't be scoring one of his famous late goals today. So we'll see Altidore to come on. Barini can uh, run no more. Altidore, who's only scored two goals for Sunderland so far after costing some £6 million from RZ in Holland. And for a return. First Sunderland goal came in the second round against MK Dons. Got them back into the tie. 2 0 down at the time. Manazai against Johnson. There you go at one another. Stop for them, didn't like Johnson's part in it. Don't like that much either. Sunderland goal kick. Just under four minutes of the 90 remaining. to uh, land a little awkwardly for a, a leap up high. Carrick. And Fletcher. And the side. Managed to hold off Cole back. Gardner came in then. Darren Fletcher finds Michael Carrick. To Valencia. It's coming on, he's hugged that right hand touchline. Now in from it at space, now in from it at pace to beat Marcos Alonso at least the first time around. Second time he's won a corner off it. Well, we're at the stage of the game. Either team score really, they win the tie, they go to Wembley. Barely time for a reply from the opposition. In. O'Shea up, but not really away. It is now. And play off the knee of Colbank. Yes! This quiet is a, a non-stop stream of signalling to his players. Javier okay, Hernandez. Waiting for Everett to be the decoy. Flipped off the head of O'Shea. It's a race between Valencia and Alcador. And to throw. Alcador will take it. Urgency now from the team in red. Not wanting another 30 minutes that they can help it. Rafael Manone flying through the air. Yanazai loses out to O'Shea. Rafael to Altidore, but it's a Manchester United corner. Stretford End is willing, a winner. Remember the roar when Wayne Rooney scored late on in the semi-final of the League Cup against Manchester City four years ago. Well, there might be something to equal it if it happens again. It won't be Rooney. Will it be Smalling? No. Was goal bound, but didn't have the power, and Manoni made quite an easy catch in the end. Lastly, sliced it out. United Pro. He's going to be as tired as the players at the end of all this. Everybody what to do every second of the game. He's trying. Back to go to Marcus Alonso. Evans. Gardner in a tip. Bonus rather nicely for Darren Fletcher. Everett. Evans. 
it all waits for him. Rafael is still full of energy. Javier Hernandez into three minutes of injury time we go. If we don't get a goal from either team now, we're going into 30 minutes of extra time. Johnson. Parsley. Craig Gardner. Evans follows him wide. Everest there as well. Sunderland throw. Barnsley. Over Gardner. Raphael's header to Fletcher. He's controlled it nicely. Control ball two out to Valencia. Fletcher. Runners left. Everett and Yanazar. Runners in the middle. Welbeck, Hernandez and Valencia. And it's Minone who gathers the ball. He thought about the quick punch to Fletcher. Fletcher was outnumbered by three red shirts and the keeper thought better of it. Johnson. Still didn't work. Fletcher. Evans. Don't pass with the throw. Stephen Fletcher with a knockdown. And Darren Fletcher having to hold off Gardner for all he's worth. I think Gardner just held on to the Manchester United captain. Danny Evans with the free kick in his own time. It is last chance now. And the final minute of the three added on to the 90. Hernandez, bustling, busy run. Pass one, in fact he was caught by John O'Shea. O'Shea's going to go in the book. Manchester United have one shot for Wembley. This will be it. If this goes in, there'll be no extra time. There'll be no way back for Sunderland. And Yanazar. An 18 year old who's been one of the brightest things about Manchester United season. And he fired them through to a Manchester derby in the Capital One Cup final. Yanazar's strike, it's a chip, and it's held and saved by Manoni. He wants to get it out quickly but he won't be able to get it out quickly enough. He and the rest of them out there are going to play another 30 minutes. If we don't get a goal in that half hour, then Manchester United are going to Wembley anyway. Gus Poyet still believes his team has got a goal in them. After 90 minutes, after two legs, it's Manchester United 2, Sunderland 2. start the 30 minutes of extra time with time being their friend they don't concede a goal they're going to the Capital One Cup final and we'll want to try to score at least one more to make it a bit more certain Valencia beats Marcus Alonso very easily the block comes in from West Brown United corner Quite lift it. And managed to clear Brown. Well back, had it on a plate. And the size corner, Manoni's out to catch it. Good to see. Caught and held and 
quickly bowled out for Cole back to run after it. Raphael who's across. Good pass for Johnny Evans on his way back, but now changes direction again. Evra. Javier Hernandez. Down to Valencia. Strong start to extra time. Being made by Manchester United here. As soon as you say that, Yanazai is guilty of losing possession on the edge of the Sunderland box. And here's Johnson. The closest to him is ignored. Johnson's turned back the other way. Now it's O'Shea. Barnsley is getting a work over from the Sunderland Masseurs during the brief interlude. Struggling with the muscle strains more than anybody. Marcos Alonso. Now Josie Altidore. It's a good ball for Adam Johnson. At pace, so an awkward one to control. Now Everett. An awkward one too for Javier Hernandez, but he'll keep the Manchester United attack going. Yanazar. with him into the box. A tackle from Marcus Alonso. Valencia. Janazai out to Evra, who's got acres of space. Evra's clip in, Marcus Alonso's header away. Can Sunderland break with Altidor? Gardner's in front to his right, Fletcher's down the middle. Gardner looking for Stephen Fletcher but Smalling will be able to let that one glide across Sunderland bodies did seem slow to try and join in with that attack slow or reluctant the problem here for Manchester United because Michael Carrick there as he just went off the pitch slipped awkwardly on his right foot One substitution oh, left available to them. They've got Phil Jones, Tom Cleverley, Ryan Giggs, and Ashley Young still on the bench. Phil Jones would be the most likely replacement out of those lot. Barton. Can't get onto it. Never wins the race. Brown. down after his brush with a much more seasoned Manchester United campaigner than he is yet. Fletcher's down after a brush from Smalling. Sunderland free kick. Manchester United change. Carrick won't be coming back onto the field. Phil Jones jogs onto the field. Only just back from his own knee injury. Sunderland make of this opportunity. Lengthy words, not so much a discussion as words from O'Shea to Gardner. Then a couple directed at Johnson too. Maybe they don't mess it up variety. And Gardner can hit a very good dead ball. Johnson of course can too. And this Gardner is going to go for goal. Never really threatened it. Trying the delicate approach, it lacked any real ferocity. And uh, had it been dipping under the bar, De Gea would have got to it anyway. It needed to be hit as though he meant it. Raphael. 
as Alonso sees off Werper. He's a retake of English football pretty well after his move away from Bolton. Valencia. Forced down by Marcus Alonso in uh, Manchester United eyes. No free kick, though. Without a call back. Small. Good sounds right around the ground. Manchester United fans giving their team a lift in the face of the non-stop Sunderland supporters barrage. Yanazar of Bartlett. There will be a few fans have tired of some of the players at the end. Great score night for some. Penalty area for him, and he's breezed past Evra. Bartley, Jones, awkward, Sunderland corner. One deep breath taken by Phil Bartley, summoning up every last ounce of energy. goes where from here, Brown's made the run to the near post, over him, De Gea, enough glove on it. Gardner. Looks to swing one all the way over to Johnson, it's a perfect pass. Barsley has a drive, always wide. play a part in Sunderland's first goal in the first leg sliding in with Ryan Giggs only for his former Manchester United colleague to get the touch for an own goal never Sunderland are near that box now it might well be a shoot on site policy or near enough Conceded a cheap corner. Didn't hear the shouts, ignored them if he did. Maybe there wasn't a shout at all. An unexpected little gift for Sunderland. 
Can they wrap it up? Key in. Take them small in that. Yanazai. Racing with Colbert. Seeing off Colbert. Through to Hernandez. He's running away from Gardner. In on goal and misses it. Sunderland quick to get the game restarted. Key. To Marcos Alonso. Key. Now it's Johnson. Marcos Alonso. Three lined up in the box for Sunderland. Valencia has stopped the cross. Not fully though. It's Fletcher. And it's well back clear. Colbert. Foul by Yanazar. Good strength and determination shown by Yanisai. The ball in is perfect for Hernandez. Maybe that touch that forced him a little wider than he wanted to be was instrumental, but he still should have hit the target at least. Actually went further away from goal. Valencia. Welbeck. Shots on for him. Shot saved by Manoni. We're getting the action coming thick and fast. The game is so stretched. Johnson. Fletcher will race with all he's got, but the Hayer was always going to get to the ball first. Sunderland haven't tested the Hayer all night. Not from a shot on goal. Nothing on target for them yet. You never know, it might only need one and they'll be in the Capital One Cup final. Marcus Alonso. Altidore. Colbert. Altidor. Rushes off Raphael. Key. Jones in his way. Johnson. So many numbers up now for Sunderland. Johnson finds Key. He's trying to tee himself up with the shot. Maybe Stephen Fletcher instead. And it's off Smalling and behind for another Sunderland corner kick. seconds of the first half of extra time to go. Here comes O'Shea with a word for West Brown. Johnson in. Smalling's been excellent at the back of Manchester United in defending set pieces. Lovely touch that from Yanazai. Hernandez chased by Johnson. Down goes Javier Hernandez, but why? Just seemed to run out of puff and fall over. Not sure it was a dive as such. I don't think it was a foul either. I think he just ran out of energy. messing about with it, he played 15 minutes, Johnson in, click towards goal, but wide of the goal, and that will do it for the first 15, there will be a quick turnaround, and then 15, for, and then 15 more minutes for Sunderland to try to find the goal they need, well, they're running the cup is over.
measured words from David Moyes. A little bit more passion from Poyet. And he's called all his players together for one last rousing huddle before a, a frantic 15-minute push. so far. Quarter of an hour away from taking Manchester United to a major Wembley final in his first season in charge. The wish, pray, and try somehow to inspire their players to finding a goal. Altidore. Key. O'Shea, Stephen Fletcher goes for it, and Smalling jumped, but he was happy to let it go behind. It's the Sunderland fans who were appealing for something for Josie Altidore tumbling in the box. The players didn't really join in. Little wonder. Well, had a hold. Looks worse from that angle, and that was the view the fans got. King. No, no, no. who's found Altador, who's miskicked. Of course, he's smalling to play it out for a throw-in. Didn't want to risk an extra roll or two of the ball in case Altador nipped in to win it. Callback. Brown. Callback confronted by Raphael. Alonso's let it run, but only to Darren Fletcher. Not the most inspired clearance there. Call back, Altador. And key, Bartley. Johnson. And Fletcher in his way. He's going to try again. Looking for Altador to attack it. Smalling's won most things in the air in his own box. Brown. Manchester United. Barely out of their half in the three minutes of this second half of extra time that we've seen. O'Shea. Gardner. Flag has stayed down. Gardner's cross. Smalling's there to meet it. Sunderland throw it. The charge is starting. Johnson. Gardner. Marcus Alonso to attack that, call back. Altador in his way, and vice versa, call back, trying to get away from Jones. Brown. Gardner. Marcus Alonso. Bundles his way into a shooting position. 
Bardsley tries the shot. Norbeck stopped it as soon as it left his boot. Yanazai held on to by Gardner. That's going to be a free kick. It'll be a booking for Gardner. There was a collision in the midst of all that between Bardsley and Welbeck. The referee got caught up in. But he did keep his eye on what was happening further downfield, which was this. Ooh, naughty. away for this stoppage. Keen for Lee Mason to add it on, however few seconds it lasts. Ten minutes of extra time to go. 1-0 Manchester United on the night, 2-2 on aggregate. Manchester United with an away goal in the back, which will count. Bartley. Small. Sunderland throw in. Smalling's defended superbly, and he's got more of it to do before the end. King. Smalling away from Altidon. Fans of all ages, shirts of all eras, same tensions. One in, should have knocked it out, it's gone straight to Yanazai. Hernandez running in front of him, Jones charging through by his side. Yanazai's gone for goal and only found Monone. Straight down the keeper's throat. Options left and right. Colback has got it through, Key. Stephen Fletcher central. Key keeps hold. It's going to come to Johnson here, he's happy to let it go for a corner. it instantly, Barnsley takes his eye off the ball and then goes sliding in on Welbeck Sunderland protests but it's going to be a Manchester United free kick, chance for them to run down the clock a little bit more that's a semi-final second leg that perhaps has lacked quality, it's been the most entertaining but it's been intriguing and it's not over yet Key. Stephen Fletcher's down and out. Some of them pressing on without their main striker here. Marcus Alonso was being held on to by Valencia. Every decision now being hotly disputed. Who does Lee Mason want to work with here? He's calling Phil Jones out. Booking for him. Johnson with the free kick, Smalling went for it, who met it last, it's going to be a goal kick, I think it was Stephen Fletcher flying in, should have been a corner, it came off Jones, this, we just trapped back his wife, Phil Jones got booked, good refereeing from Lee Mason remembered it and took action at the first opportunity. It's gone out of play. Off the head of Valencia. This is a big six minutes plus a bit. Plus a lot, this boy, it hopes at the moment. Pullback. 
Valencia works well to win the ball for Key. Now it's Welbeck. Hernandez. Against Marcus Alonso. Valencia's there to help him out. Hernandez has wriggled through somehow. Then down. And Valencia just poked out a toe to try to stab it and try and catch Manoli out. It's high over the bar. Manoli with the Sunderland goal kick. And he's going to have to go long. Mounted or on. Smalling's got it away. It would have gone through to the Hayat. The door trying to barge through, he's managed that. Reflected behind for a corner. Dancing around, the excitement still there. Attention to fashion detail still there. Overcomes the corner, and Fletcher's got his head to it. And it just bounces off his forehead because he couldn't really challenge for it, such was the melee of bodies in front of it. The hope is still there, and you just sense that it is lessening. the frustrated reaction, it's not going to spare him a booking anyway on the totting up basis. Might wish he'd thrown the ball away after all, I don't think it would have made much difference. And only to launch it, just over three and a half minutes of extra time to go. on it and heads firmly clear. David Moyes arms are out in frustration, wanted that chased out a little more strongly. Pull back to Marcus Alonso. Evra. Altidore. Couldn't turn to face goal. Marcus Alonso. Gardner tries to get onto it. It's come off Evra for Bardsley. Bardsley! Right across the face, only needed a touch from anybody. He's done really well here, Phil Bardsley. That could easily have gone in off Smalling. Johnson. Rafael heads away, and Valencia has been wrestled to the floor by Marcos Alonso. Has to be a yellow card. Manchester United will now take their time. They are two and a half minutes from Wembley. He'll be there on the first Sunday in March if they hold on. Johnson. John O'Shea is an extra striker here for Sunderland. They might as well for a caution to the win. There's nothing left in the game. Johnson in. Evans clear. Hernandez can't get it under control. Barsley's got it. Johnson. That's key to attack that. Helped on nicely by Stephen Fletcher. This is key. To go out to get it back in. Bardsley will let fly. The head has lost it. It's in. Bill Bardsley has fired Sunderland to the Capital One Cup final. It slipped through the fingers 
and David De Gea and a Wembley final has been slipped from the grasp of Manchester United. And it's a born and bred red, a former Manchester United player who has scored the goal. Nothing on target all night for Sunderland until this. Straight at the goalkeeper, straight through the goalkeeper, barring a Manchester United goal in the seconds that remain. Gus Poyet is taking his Black Cats, his Sunderland team, to their first major Wembley Cup final since 1992. Former goalkeeper of Sunderland legend Jimmy Montgomery. Can't do anything but smile at a current goalkeeper's mistake. Have Manchester United got a response? The ball's gone up and it says two minutes. It might not be over yet as Raphael gets the ball in. Gardner heads away. It's back to Phil Jones. Raphael. Headed away by Brown. Here's Darren Fletcher. Yanazar, return to it, there is a chance, Yanazar in, into the net, Hernandez has done it! Sunderland celebrations premature! Hernandez into the roof of the net, Solskjaer style! The drama goes on, and will go on to a penalty shootout. Unless there's another twist, it is incredible! Remarkable. That's a mark of what Manchester United used to do a lot. Small into Yana's eye. Nobody could get the ball away. Now watch the reaction of David Moyes, it's as measured as he can possibly be because he must feel like sprinting down that touchline. Peter Brown. Up towards Altidore, faced by Raphael. And Altidore has been found guilty of a bump on a barge. There is one relieved Manchester United goalkeeper, who you never know, could well be a penalty-saving hero. Because that's what we're going down to, a shootout to decide who will face Manchester City in the final. Sunderland had it won, they were seconds away. Before then, Manchester United had it won, they were a couple of minutes away. Now, those brave enough, to make sure they find the net from 12 yards away. What a finish. Manchester United 2, Sunderland 1, all square on aggregate, all square on away goals. We're going to penalties. As someone once said, football, bloody hell. smiling, smiles of tension, paces of nervousness. Words of encouragement from Anders Lindegaard to David De Gea and through Chris Woods, who played in the final of this competition for Norwich against Sunderland in 1985. And he had a spell as backup Sunderland keeper towards the end of his career without playing for them. Gus Poyet's trying to keep his players relaxed. He's telling them the order. He's trying to give them confidence. I must feel at the moment, even though for a long period of extra time they had lost it, that they've won it and lost it all over again. 
Will Javier Hernandez be picked to take a penalty? Doesn't look like it. Struggling to stand up. Well, he's just dug his keeper out of a whole mess. And his manager and Manchester United. Form guide here, just nerves, confidence, heroics maybe. Sunderland's first penalty shootout since October 2009 when losing to Aston Villa in the fourth round of the League Cup. They've lost three of the last four. Manchester United have lost their last two, both at Wembley. Chelsea in the Community Shield against Everton in the FA Cup semi-final 2009. Only one previous League Cup shootout for them, the final in 2009, and they beat Spurs. Thanks to Ben Foster and his iPad. Belief. It's Charlie Oakway who's playing the clown and trying to kick spirits high. At this point, it looks as though he's determined to try and enjoy the experience. How on earth can you? I guess all the pressure is with Manchester United. But they're back from the brink. And again, so have Sunderland beat. Impossible to read. Toss of the coin, and the penalties will be, well, I guess where Sunderland wanted them, where their fans are, although Manchester United fans do outnumber them anyway in the bottom tier. But at least it's not in front of the strap for them, they'll count that at least as a first moral victory. David De Gea has to try to save penalties in the goal in which he let through a soft one just a few minutes ago. First up for Sunderland is Craig Gardner. Gardner has blazed it high over the bar. Almost reached those Sunderland fans in the top tier. No save necessary. Gardner ruse his luck and technique. And for Manchester United, up steps Danny Welbeck. Former Sunderland Lone Star. It's been about the ex-players tonight. Evans for Manchester United and Gardner. Evans for Manchester United and Barsley for Sunderland. Now Welbeck, and he's placed it and missed as well. Goodness me. Yeah. And that's as bad as Craig Gardner's. One penalty each. 
nil nil Stephen Fletcher Son can barely watch Fletcher, oh it's tame tame to say the least saved by De Gea and applause the support appreciates it from the other end the strip for end just Poyet can't believe what he's watching tiredness is a factor just had nothing in his legs at all so one Fletcher's missed up comes the other for Manchester United and David Moyes it's Darren Fletcher his captain for the night that wasn't strong either but it was accurate and it was just out of the reach of Manoni and Manchester United are on the board Marcus Alonso really has to score now you can see the nerves written large across his face only just signed for Sunderland on loan for Fiorentina Marcus Alonso, it's a really good spot kick. This puts a little bit of pressure back onto Manchester United. And it's Adnan Yanezai, 18 years old, world at his feet, grabbing the headlines it seems with every game. versus Manoni Manoni saves it was too close to it and it's level again at one penalty each three taken each I think out of six penalties we've only seen one really good one Key of a winner's medal from this competition last season when playing for Swansea City. Can he go back to another final? Can he play a part in taking Sunderland back? He scores! Easily sends De Gea the wrong way. Phil Jones to make the long walk. Seems to have been around for ages, seems to have loads of experience, still only 21. And Jones has put it over! Got right underneath the ball! Manoni not needed again. Manchester United have scored one out of four penalties. And Sunderland a one successful spot kick away from Wembley. If Adam Johnson scores, Ellis Short, Jimmy Montgomery, all that lot will be going to Wembley and Johnson will be facing his former team, Manchester City, in the final if he scores this kick. It's not over yet! Another dramatic twist! Go back to the States, Ellis. Spread the gospel of football far and wide even more. Oh, Jimmy. Raphael. Manchester United have another life. Raphael must score to keep it alive. Saved by Manoni! Sunderland are heading to the Capital One Cup final. Vito Manoni takes the plaudits. Sunderland's Italian goalkeeper is the hero at the end. 
what a turnaround in their season. Rock bottom, going nowhere but down. Then in came Gus Poyet. They're climbing away from trouble slowly. What a lift in that fight this is. They're going to a major final. Their first trip to Wembley since losing on penalties to Charlton in 1998 in the playoffs. Their first trip to a major cup final since 1992. The first real reward for Ellis Short since plowing his money in. And misery, more of it, for Manchester United and David Moyes. Out of the Capital One Cup. No final for Sir Alex to attend this year. Tears for Danny Welbeck. Tears of joy for all from Wearside. Sunderland win on penalties.